you listen to the stillness. In the distance you can hear the blue-eyed honey heaters squawking. He's coming this way. There he is. That's the blue-eyed honey heater. Then in the distance, the sound is the cicadas. That's the difference between daytime and nighttime. Nighttime is entirely different sound. But beautiful though, lovely. The tranquility of this place is lovely. Beautiful. Great big supermarket through here for our old people in the early days. And I'm trying my artist to keep it alive by showing the young young generation that comes through the gorge. They're a, a type of fruit that our people had mastered through trial and error to make their bread out of. This is their number one baker shop that they've Long before European brought the flour into, into civilization, that our people had used these here to grind up by treating it, in, by cooking it in the warm ashes, pulverizing it, then leaching it by putting it in the dilly bag, flushing out the toxin, the cyanide. It's full of cyanide. And they mastered it by doing exactly as I just explained. This is where the fruit has been. You can tell that's where all the fruit has come off it. So this is a female. If you look quite clearly, you can see the difference. Bright purplish fruit is what we call a dinella flaxus, and it's very, very sweet indeed. By pulling one off, that is breakfast. The uh, little sucker that will grow up into a big, quite a big tree, it's called the wattle tree. Now our people had uh, mastered the technology of finding out how to make bread out of this by grinding the seed up into very fine powdery stuff, then mixing it with water into a dough substance and then put it into the ashes damper. It also tells us that our people use this uh, when they go fishing. When this is flowers blooming, when it's quite yellow and flowered, our people will go fishing. That's when the fish is fatter and sweeter, by just looking at the water. This is what we call the native fig. Uh, it a, grows a little fruit, and, and our people have used this for survival kit. It's a fruit that out in the bush. There are two types, rough leaf and smooth leaf. When you're out in the bush, you've got no water, you're dehydrating. As I dug here, you could see the root system where it comes off. The root system, and you break it off like so. And you have to pull it out. You have a long root system, which you break in half like so. And it's very, very sweet. It's really like sugar. Sometimes the root system is quite as thick as this. Then we get it, break it off, and drink it like so, it's, it will stop you from dehydrating, that is for sure. This came within our old people in the early days when they were out hunting. They'd listen to the sound. They were very quiet. They could hear the porcupine crawling around in the grass or the goanna. They were very quiet, they were very quiet. It's beautiful imagining what I wake up to here every morning. When I'm in the gorge, how beautiful it is. Listen to it.